Right, well I thought I'd do a quick update video on where we are on the van now. A few bits seem to be going okay now, so... The roof's pretty much done. Um, apart from the edges where the wall units are going. Um, underneath here is um, it's wood underneath as well, all the way up. So I've got something to screw the wall units into. Uh, Saints blinds are in. The MIDI hook is. And some LED lights. Um, the roof I'm really pleased with. Um, it's all done on vinyl and one piece, front to back. Um, that's come out pretty well. Uh, another roof light and the other light. Um, bulkhead's now in. Um, well, half the bulkhead's now in. That's drying, so that's sort of knocked in place at the moment. Um, which means I can start tomorrow on the floor probably. Uh, a lot of the electrics are in. Uh, how I'm doing the electrics is I've got two batteries under each seat. There's two there's two there and another two over there. All the wiring is going through the steps to connect the two. Um, you can see the wiring on the top there for the, the shunt uh, for the BM1 battery monitor that's going in. Um, over here the bus bars are in. Um, that's just to connect all of the positives and all of the negatives together just makes life a bit easier and the three fuses are in that are going over to what will be three fuse boxes one will be down here and the other two will be in the wardrobe which will be there um, shows the insulation up the top of the over cab um, done it with sort of kingspan type stuff and then in the corners where everything's a bit of a nightmare just packed it full of space blanket and then just gone around it with spray foam insulation same as everywhere else in the van and this wire coming down in this plastic tubing the conduit is just at the moment a load of wire it's um, a 240 volt hookup which because I live on a main road I've it's actually behind there. Um, the reason is then I can hang a wire from outside uh, my top window and charge the van at night if I need to. Um, the rest of the bulkheads, this bit's going to be set back so it's going to have some struts coming back and then a panel going all the way back to finish that off. Um, it's just yeah, quite tall and I need the room for the seat to go back and then the fridge will go sort of there with the wardrobe above and then we'll start on the bathroom which is why the ceiling isn't done over there because it's going to be in a different colour for in the bathroom and it's just going to be white in there uh, where else so what else have we got done so far and obviously the windows are all in um, the rear windows they're really nice they're built specifically for the Ducato um, and although they're a bastard to fit it's going to look really nice when it's finished um, I'll show the outside in a minute which gives a better idea um, I fitted the, the light switches and they all work as well so. and then the other one and the other one is for the outside light and that's got an LED on it to show when that's on. And let's go outside and show the LED. That's the LED light there. Um, the nice thing about that is I thought it'd be a good idea to have it on remote control as well. So I've got this key fob here. It just makes life a bit easier if you're walking across a dark campsite at night. Uh, what else have we got on the outside? Not too much around the front. This door's going to have a stop on it, so it only goes to that point there. Um, I'm just waiting for that to come from the fabricators. 
the rear windows. As I say, built specifically for the Takato. I think they're really nice. Um, and the twin reversing cameras, one sort of facing behind the one all the way down the road. Um, and the window obviously on this side. The water tanks are fitted underneath. And that's, that's sort of the fill points for them. Nice and neat, really like that. I don't know if this will pick this up. Might show the tanks and the gas canisters a little bit. I might just be looking at black, I don't know. Um, yeah, there's the electric hookup, which is done from a top window up there, so just drapes across. And that's kind of where we are at the moment. Um, there's the wiring in for the solar panels, they're on the roof as well. And for a 3G aerial, that's all wired in as well. Um, and that will go to an onboard computer system in the van. Um, that's the screen for the reversing cameras, and just my hands free system. I chucked in a couple of extra USB power points um, while I was at, while I was um, fitting the reversing camera, so I thought I may as well. Um, just the way you want them for a, you know, charging a mobile phone, which I also use as my sat nav, and for charging the hands free system. Um, a little bit of material here is um, there's going to be wall units running around this whole van, and from here, um, that's where the wall units will come up for this part. And they come out to about here. Just little small ones just for putting stuff, you know, small bits in. But this little bit here would have shown. So I've just covered that in the vinyl as well. Should just give a nicer finish. There's doors being made for, well all of the doors in here are being made. I own a kitchen company so I'm having them made by my manufacturer. Um, should look pretty good when it's done. I think that's about it for now, so yeah, can't think of anything else. Um, next job is the floor. We've got a lot of work to do on the floor. This was a builder's van before. Um, so it's got to have a lot of like red oxide and sanding it back in places, which I'll start on tomorrow. Then 25mm battens with 25mm Kingspan. And then I've got some industrial grade flooring going down, um, which is a really thick vinyl, but it's the same stuff as they use in schools and in hospitals, so it should wear pretty well. But yeah, that's about it for now.